Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Sandy Cruz and I am the creator of iPlanners, iDesign, iJournals, Key Life, and a whole lot more. In this video, I want to show you how to make your own digital stickers. We're going to make this trendy clipboard and let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can get a better closer look at how adorable these are. So what I'm using to create these stickers is the number four iPlanner tools kit. Now you don't have to have an iPlanner to make your own digital stickers. You can use these shapes, you can fill them and you copy and paste them over to whatever planner it is that you're using and whatever platform you're using to annotate in your iPlanner. As you could see in this collection, there are several different shapes. Of course, the shape that we want is this clipboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap it and copy it. And then I wanna get a new drawing space and I'm gonna paste. I'll make it just about as big as my drawing space so it's nice and big to work with. And then I'm gonna start by filling the board part of the clipboard. So for that, I'll double tap and that just isolates the board from the group so that I can fill it with without filling everything else. So now I'm gonna tap on the paintbrush and I'm gonna make sure image is selected and then I'm going to hit replace. And now I'm gonna to scroll to, I have all of my digitally speaking patterns in my albums on my iPad. So I can just scroll to the pattern collection that I wanna use. And I think there's something in here flower power that I can use. Let's do the pink dots. I like that. And I even like how the dots are sized in this board. If I wanted the dots bigger, I could go ahead and double tap on the board and I could move this slider back and forth to make them bigger. And something else I can do is if I take my finger, I can move this back and forth to center it up a little bit better. And that looks good. I'll tap done. And now my board is ready. There's one more thing I wanna do though, is to put a style to it. So I'm going to tap on the paintbrush again, style, and I want a drop shadow. And I usually like to go with this first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. And I think that looks good. So the next thing I wanna fill is this clip. So I'm going to double tap the clip. I'm going to go to the paintbrush again, image, place, and I'm going to use the aluminum set of patterns. And I'm going to go ahead and use this silver one. I could use gold, green, blue, any color I want, and it fills it really nice. Now, if you don't like the direction that the glow is going, you can double tap and you can change the direction by rotating. I can make it a little bit bigger as well, and I could move it just a little bit to the side, give it a little bit of a more realistic look. Okay, so my clipboard is done. So now I want some paper on my clipboard. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and get a rectangle shape, and there's actually several of them in these templates, but I only want a rectangle, so I'm gonna double tap on the iPad and copy and paste. Now I'm gonna size that to my clipboard and now I'm gonna to have to go, I'm gonna change the constraints on the shape so that I can size it exactly proportioned to the clipboard. So here I've chosen the paintbrush, arrange, and now I wanna turn off constraints. That way I can go ahead and pull this down a little bit and now it looks more proportioned to the clipboard and I wanna fill it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the paintbrush again, image, replace. And this time I wanna to go to my templates and Keynote lets you fill shapes with PDFs. And I just love that because I've got these legal pages in the DSi store and they're all PDFs. And I'm gonna choose white, even though I've got all these different colors I can use, I'm gonna pick the white one. And now, of course, I'm gonna to have to adjust it on my clipboard, so I'll double tap. I'm gonna make it bigger because I want these lines, I wanna be able to write on these lines in good notes. That looks good. I think that'll work good in, inside good notes. So now I'm gonna select done. And there's one more thing that I need to do. I need to put the clip on top of the paper template. So I'm gonna double tap the clip and I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna tap and paste it. And now it's gonna be on top. And there's my sticker. Now to use it in GoodNotes, I'll just go ahead and tap on the drawing space and select all and copy. And let me go ahead and go over to GoodNotes. And I'm gonna open up my iPlanner and I'm ready to paste it somewhere on my page. 
So I'll tap and hold and I'll tap paste. And then of course this is going to need to be resized. So I'll just use the handle in the lower right corner and size the clipboard. I'll make it as wide as the cell in my vertical planner. Center it up and there you go. All ready for me to take notes. So some of the other eye planner tools that are available, and you can mix and match these and get really creative with your stickers. This first eye planner tools collection has all of the tabs down the right and all the tabs across the top. So basically all you have to do is tap and fill each individual tab and then you can copy the whole row and bring it over to the eye planner and they're perfectly proportioned to the tabs in the eye planner this is the third set of stickers and these are more productivity stickers for you to make meal planning stickers your social media stickers your medicine and vitamin stickers but you can mix and match these as well because there's a ton of shapes included in this whole set this is the third version of the eye planner tools and again you've got a ton of shapes that can be mixed and matched to make all kinds of stickers. And then some of the other ones we have is some journaling stickers. And these are fun to use with the journaling cards. So you can make Project Life cards for your Key Life albums. And then there's washi tape. And all you have to do is tap and fill this washi tape and dial back the opacity slightly so that they're semi-transparent when you bring them over to good notes. We've got Dex cards, all different shapes, paint splats, paint drips, and a whole lot more. So like I said, I'm going to link the Digitally Speaking store below and you can take a look at all the shapes that are available and there are a lot. I've just touched the surface in this video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are ready to make some stickers for your digital planner and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a fabulous day everyone. Bye! Bye.